Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft and I've learned a lot. Um, as you saw my video, my last video on this, these shingles, um, I had the, the jig turn 90 degrees and I was cutting this way and I ended up with this kind of sawdust. Plugging up every single cut, I had to clean out the the cabinet and so I thought what could I do so I turned it my fear was my my jig is just hinges and that it would twist it that way so let me show you what we have and how I corrected that so I got a little handle on both of these and all I have is this little spacer 3 8 spacer I'm trying to go from 0 to about 3 8 to a half an inch somewhere around there um, the last ones I did I've learned a lot they were too thick. Uh, they're about an eighth inch to three sixteenths on the thin end. Got to about five eighths to half inch to five eighths to almost three quarters on some of them on the big end. So I got to figure out my number drop. But I'm going to go up three eighths, then down three eighths. So I'll cut it, put the shim in it on both of them. I have one on each. Cut it, pull the shim out. Um, so what's going to keep this thing from flying this way? Let me show you. So we'll get a good look at it this way first. All we have are some hinges right there. Some one inch plywood. Little handle right here. Another little handle here. So on this side, let's see if you can see this. So on this side, I have this, this block here at the end and that will keep this from sliding that way. I have it screwed in. I have it screwed in down here and back here as well. And that will keep this whole thing from shifting from the blade. That's my thought process anyhow. We're gonna see how it works. What are your thoughts? I have these two jigs mounted to this two by four. Okay guys, we're gonna get the uh, mill fired up. I, I probably knew this, but I called them shingle shakes. Shakes are split, shingles are cut or machined. Um, so I misspoke when I said that before. Now I'm counting on the weight of these blocks holding these up. So since I'm cutting them this way, pushing it down, I should be good. I'm gonna get this fired up. Let's go guys. Where's everybody from? I keep meaning to ask that. I haven't asked that in any of my videos yet. Um, we're starting to get a good size following and I'd like to know where you guys are from. I mean, other than YouTube Studio Analytics, Gives me a baseline of where most of you are at, country-wise. You know, I'm not sure where you're exactly from. So drop it, drop a comment in there. And let me know if you're, what city you're in or where you're close to. You don't got to give me your address. So, all right, here we go. Unless you want a Christmas card. Now you saw that last video. All that fuzz came out. This should be good. My only concern is the twisting. I got a good blade on there, uh, Jerry's Ripper 37, so let's see what happens. This will be the first baseline cut, shims are in, 3-8 shims, throttle up. Vibration, guys. Let's see how this next jig goes. Aren't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I need to keep the flow. it's not a failure it's a proof of concept it does work um, I noticed at the end I'll have to look at the video and see when it fell the log dog fell off the, um, this 2x4 is out too far to get anything on this one out here unfortunately so I clamped that on the in, inside one and I think that's what caused it to vibrate you know a little bit you know that's part of it plus I'm up pretty high but it worked well. I'm happy with what I have. You know, the problem I'm having with the, the Frontier on this is the scale. I really like the Frontier scale. <clears throat> I know a lot of guys have put DROs on them, digital readout. Um, and I never considered it because I really like the scale. I like how I'm, it's accurate for me. I have it set up pretty accurate off my table or in my bunks and they're eighth inch marks you just you sit on them and your your lumber is generally pretty good i'm trying to be pretty fine here you know i'm trying to go to zero to about three eighths and <laughs> sometimes i get zero sometimes i get an eighth now these are the eighth um, when i get this when it pops out it ends up pushing out so let me grab one of those so like this one <clears throat> This one went right to zero. However, it popped out four inches before it got to the end. You know, and your shingles need to be a certain length depending on your coverage. 16 inches is a good length for shingles. So I think a DRO would solve that problem for shingles. And prob, yeah, shingles. Now the one side I can see it, I can nail it. The other side you can't. So. But anyhow, guys, let me know where you're from. Tell me what you think about my concept here. Uh, improvements I can make. I'm sure there's some improvements you guys see out there. Um, you know, when you're, when you're running the mill, you don't see everything happening. You go back on the video and you're like, oh, crap, I didn't see that happening. So, all right, guys, that will do it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the mill next time. Oh, another beautiful day in West Michigan. Blue skies. <clears throat> These, uh, my videos, I usually have a two or three scheduled to uh, upload. So this will, this is uh, at, towards the end of September. What's the date today? Like the 20th or 21st of September. This will come out in a couple days after the, the, the other shingle jig failure which I believe was October 4th. So maybe October 5th or 6th, this will come out. And by then, maybe we'll have some colors popping up. But, yeah, another great day. I have some oaks from a customer. I have to mill over there. You know, these hobby mills, uh, if you've ever been thinking about one, it's a nice little side hustle. You know, I don't have a lot of money invested in this thing. And I've more than paid for itself several times now through customers and my own uh, wood milling so god here i am again rambling <laughs> all right guys that is it see ya maybe what would you do with those shingle shakes i'm sorry sorry dave 
Oregon Dave, what did you do with those shingles? I think I have a project I'm going to use them for. I don't know how many came out of that. Those four blocks, I should count them. I'm not going to count them for you guys and put it on camera though. But I bet there's 50, maybe 50. All right, I'm done. I got to get more work going here. See you guys. Have a great day.